Hi, I'm Cheyenne. I'm from Telford and I study MA Newspaper Journalism at City University of London. I chose to study at City mainly because I was kind of lacking in A, experience, B, in kind of knowledge of journalism and the practical side of it and the legal side of it, um, which can obviously rack up some costs for your publication if you don't know that. Um, so I was really keen to kind of get stuck in and get to grips with the practicalities of that and also get to learn the day-to-day -day life of a journalist. I think the thing that I like most about journalism is the features. I love writing features. I, yeah, I'm not a news reporter, but I just like writing about something really abstract and crazy that's happening in the news and like putting my own spin on it and bringing it in with different news stories and kind of like taking someone on a journey through writing. I first became interested in features when I started blogging. Um, so I guess blogging does feel a bit like an opinion column for me. Um, and yes, I think I just got really into kind of writing and knew that I wanted to write, but wasn't sure. So blogging really helped me to refine that and give me a sense of direction in that. For the course, I didn't really have any experience per se in journalism. Um, I, right before the course actually, I landed an internship at the Financial Times working on the Life and Arts desk. Um, and that was just really great because I was able to see the fact checking side, the sub editing side, um, was able to write two pieces um, and also just able to kind of refine my niche and figure out exactly what I want to do. So I then found that I really like fashion, but at the time I was just writing kind of in the lifestyle area. I was doing snapshot um, and that is basically just their photography kind of little news and brief in the print. Um, and that really kind of helped me to realize, okay, this is what I want to do as opposed to kind of hard news, breaking news. Studying in London is an emotional roller coaster. I think London is a great city to study in, um, definitely. Um, it's a big change for me because I came from a small town in the West Midlands. Um, so it's just been a massive cultural change. Like the bus drivers don't know your name and they won't wait for you to sit down before they go. Um, but I think jokes aside, um, it is just great. There is so much to do here and there's a lot well, in terms of having downtime, there's so many things to do, so many different people that you meet every single day, especially doing journalism, like I interview different people and the course has been really good at kind of integrating that social aspect in. My favourite moment at City so far has to be um, this one lesson that we had where we had to go out into Xmas Market and do kind of social media posts on that because I'm not social media savvy, but I definitely enjoy social media. So that was just kind of fun to get out and do that. Um, and also like meeting my course mates and like kind of being able to work on stuff with them. We were paired up and kind of just had to come up with these posts. My favorite module is lifestyle. The lifestyle specialism on the MA newspaper journalism course is just amazing. Um, the staff that worked on it were great. Um, what we learned from it was great. The people that came in to speak to us were amazing. The contacts that I've made and the things that I've learned are just phenomenal. It's brought my kind of career from <laughs> here to here, um, which is just amazing. Outside of my course, I can now officially say that I am a fashion journalist, um, which is great um, because that's exactly what I wanted to get out of my course. Um, so I do a lot of going to launch parties, catwalks, interviewing designers, just different things. I recently spoke to um, the head of the well, <laughs> department for luxury handbags and fashion at Bonhams, which is like a famous auction house in what well, across the world is going to say in the UK. Personally the course has had me think a lot about just that kind of old saying of you know treat be treat people how you want to be treated. Um, mainly because I guess 
when you want to interview people, there's a lot of just, I just need to get this interview done. I just need to speak to that person and get that over and done with. But I think it's really made me think, okay, wait a second. We've got a lot of care, um, a duty of care um, for this person. We've got to protect this source. We've got to make sure that we're being fair to them. We're re representing them in a correct and accurate way. And yeah, like I think it's just given me so much to consider in terms of the other side of the fence. Professionally, I would say that I feel that the course has actually really helped me in terms of getting to grips with um, media law. Um, I think as well having like knowing, knowing a lot of people who can do law, I think it's scary that if I don't, if I'm not diligent and I don't take care, I can be on the other side of the courtroom, which is like quite a sobering thought. So I think the course has been really good at equipping me in terms of learning that knowledge um, and carrying it into a newsroom so that I can be credible and trustworthy to potential employers and editors and chiefs. Um, yeah. For the future, um, I am currently a fashion journalist, but I do want to move on and up into one of the mainstream publications. I won't name which one. Um, <laughs> and yes, just hoping to kind of work my way up with that. And I feel like City's given me the tools and the knowledge on how to get into the industry, how to get into events, how to branch out and network and meet different contacts to get there. So I feel even though I'm not exactly where I want to be and I'm happy knowing that I'm leaving here knowing how to get there. I am really excited for kind of how influencer culture is going to impact the fashion journalism industry or that landscape in the next 10 years. Um, like we have influencers walking down catwalks instead of models and I think that's interesting in a way because even though I'm not like fully pro influencer culture and there are very toxic sides of that I think it's really interesting that everyday people people who started off as everyday people um, are able to kind of branch into what is and has traditionally been quite an inaccessible industry so I'm really interested to see how that pans out and I hope it goes in the right direction yeah <laughs> My key advice to future master students would be to please submit your work um, whenever they kind of want you to um, put it up online. I know that the only real requirement that you have is to upload your work to the submission portal so that you can get your grade. But I think when the student newspaper needs some features or they need different things, I'd encourage you to definitely get that because at least you're getting bylines at least you're getting experience. You're having your tutors look at that and you're having them um, give you feedback. And in my first term, I shied away from that. I just didn't submit it for like the student newspaper or anything like that. And I regret it because in the industry, you don't have an editor who will sit down and take time with you to give you feedback um, and to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Um, it really is just cutthroat. They'll just tell you, cut that out, that's not good. And you just, there's, there's a lot of time where you don't know what you're doing right, so you don't know how to correct what you're doing wrong. Um, so I'd say grab that um, and really treasure that as a master's student doing newspaper journalism at City.